hello guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a text animation in figma something that looks very similar to this um, most of us must have seen this it's a common trend between portfolio websites and if you've been wondering how to create this this is a quick tutorial on how to design something like this so let's jump right in okay so this is the final copy of the design um the first thing we want to do is we would like to create a different page so we can recreate this um and i'm going to name this new page text animation um so the next thing i want to do is to copy this desktop frame from our final design down to our text animation page because i don't want us to start designing all these jargons from scratch um all we need is just this text animating part so the next thing is to write out our text, um, the text in which we'll be animating. It's going to have two parts. Um, the first part will be a professional, then the second part will be product designer. Okay, so I want to make sure both texts are aligned. Uh, but first, I'd like to take out the old animating text components we had and let's focus on what we are working on on both text hit shift a to create an auto layout for both text then you want to make sure you adjust the spacing between both text so you won't create too much spacing between them i'm also going to duplicate the animating text and i'm going to also align it vertically on a single column i want the animation to animate between four texts you can do as many as you want um, so i'm going to duplicate it two more times and i'm also going to go ahead to rename um, all four contents of the text Okay, I also want to give each of them different colors to create that distinction. Um, you can do whatever you want, but this is just how I want this to be for this tutorial. okay so i'm done changing the colors um the next thing i want to do is to select both frames select both the static frame and the one animating and i'm going to hit shift a to create an auto layout on both of them next i want to reduce the height to a single sentence which is the first sentence then i want to click on clip content i also want to remove the auto layout from the frame this is possible by clicking the far right of the auto layout tab there's like a minus sign there when you click on it you can remove the auto layout from the frame right so i want to duplicate this frame and also nudge up the contents of the the dynamic text section so i'm just going to use um, my arrow up key to move them up then i'll make another duplicate and move it up from the ux designer section to where it shows the interaction designer section so i'm going to repeat that for the fourth text also which is going to be um, for the visual designer So after I'm done with that, um, I want to rename every single frame to a unique name that I can remember when I'm doing the prototype. But you can as well leave it just the way it is. Um, it's just a personal preference. So I'm just going to skip to the part where I've renamed all the frames. Okay, so 
after redeeming all the frames what i want to do next is to highlight all the frames and click on the component icon and create component set the next thing to do will be to animate the variants of these components i'm going to start with the first one product designer click on our interaction click on after delay then we want to use change to then we want to change it to the ux frame then we are going to set our animation to smart animate then we are going to set a custom timer and i want to use the easy in and out back option so i'm going to use the same settings for the ux designer tab but this time i'm going to just drag the prototype wires down to where i want them to be so i'm going to repeat the same process for all the text and back to the initial text which is the product designer text okay and finally i've finished animating the variants um i really hope you guys understand up to this point now that we are done with fixing the interaction between our components the next thing we want to do is bring in the instance of our components so we would like to switch to the assets tab and open up our text animation page and drag in the instance of the component down to the board so i'm going to fit the text in its actual position where it's supposed to be As you can see this is perfect so the next thing we want to do is to check our prototype and hope it comes out exactly the way we want it and this is it guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and most importantly I hope you guys understood the process um thank you for watching um please subscribe and i'm going to see you in my next video